Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Michelle Fondon and I'm the author of the new book, Twin Flame Romance, The Journey to Unconditional Love, available now in paperback, Kindle, and Audible books. And for the months of January and February, if you purchase on paperback, Kindle, or Audible, Chakra Healing for Vibrant Energy, and you leave a review on Amazon because this poor little book is in big need of reviews, and you post it on Amazon, send me the screenshot once the review is posted and I will gift you the audible copy of Twin Flame Romance. So you get a little gift for buying a book and leaving a review. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe below. Hit the bell for notifications. You wanna scroll that bell up to all. Hit the all button and give the video a thumbs up. Today, we are talking about the number one huge frustration for divine feminines in a twin flame connection. Now, before we begin this beautiful topic, because I know a lot of you have been really frustrated, if you would like a twin flame reading with me, I do 30, 60, and 90 minute twin flame readings. You can email me at michellefondantauthor at gmail.com. If you're new to readings, you've never had a twin flame reading before, I would highly suggest the 60 or 90 minute 30 minutes goes very quickly and there's not a lot of room for coaching. You can also book your appointment at fondandwellness.com. The twin flame journey, divine feminines, can be so maddening, can't it? You feel like you're going absolutely crazy. Now, especially in those initial phases with your twin flame divine masculine, when you guys do connect and you're dating and it's hot and heavy, and maybe you've even formed and developed a relationship together and your divine masculine is one thing during this time that is super duper frustrating. And that one thing is incongruent. Incongruency, it means there is no congruency between his thoughts, his actions, the way he looks at you, and the words that he speaks. Craziness, it's maddening. So maddening was one of the words that I always used with my divine masculine in the beginning of our connection. I would say, you are completely maddening. This is maddening. This whole situation is maddening. What you're saying is maddening. And his reaction was like, don't madden. But the reason was because he had total incongruency with what he was saying, what he was doing, the way he was looking at me. It was 100% incongruent. At one point, I even told him, you know, you should tell your body and you should tell your eyes what you're saying verbally and that all should match because none of it is matching. So let me give you an example, Twin Flames Divine Feminine, because I know you know what I am talking about. What I'm talking about is if I were to look at you like this and look into your eyes and give you little googly eyes. Oh, but I'm saying to you, I just want to be friends. That's it. Nothing else, just friends. Or even that, I don't think we should be together. But I'm looking at you like that. Inside, your mind is registering, huh. Either I don't believe the words or I don't believe the look. But the look seems a lot stronger than the words. So... I'm more inclined, my intuition is more inclined to not believe the words. And then you get into the maddening, crazy cycle of the twin flame arguments with your twin flame, divine masculine, because this happens to all of us, divine feminines, where you feel like you're going crazy, divine feminines. You truly feel like you're going crazy because your divine masculine's actions, the way he looks at you and his words 
are totally not matching. There's no matching in between them. Usually on a very subconscious level, what your divine masculine is feeling is much, much deeper than what they are willing to admit. The way they truly feel about you is something way deeper than they're willing to speak out about. And it's really easy to get very, very, very frustrated, especially when you are in their presence, because a lot of times, you will hear them say certain things to you that do not match the way they're acting toward you, the way they're looking at you, and the different feelings that are being displayed by their gestures, by the way they are acting when they are around you. And it, it just, it makes you feel like you're crazy because the words are one thing, but the actions and the vibe are something totally, totally, totally different. I'm here to tell you, Divine Feminines, that if this is in case happening time and time and time and time again, with your divine masculine that no, you are absolutely positively not going crazy. The incongruence comes from the fact, for the most part, it comes from the fact that they are not totally aware of their feelings or maybe they are aware of their feelings and they're really not ready to share them with you. But the feelings of a twin flame connection are so incredibly intense that they overcompensate for it. They mask it by telling you something that's totally out of the ordinary to what is actually happening. While you guys may have been spending a ton of time together, while you guys may have been having really deep conversations or have had like amazing sexual interactions with your twin flame, and you're having these intense gazes into each other's eyes where you're having all those signs and symptoms like the heart palpitations and just the jitters and nervousness and like kind of the cold sweats because there's so much energy that you're exchanging between you and your divine masculine. But on the outside, they're seeing something like, yeah, we don't really have a connection or like I don't see us as ever being more than just friends or I just don't see us as having any sort of connection like I don't know what you're thinking and it's just because the calibration between what's happening in their brain and what's happening on a cellular level what's happening on a spiritual level hasn't matched up with what they can see in the external world for them because the intensity is so intense, they usually overcompensate by going in the direct opposite direction. I just want you guys to understand that it's a normal reaction for a divine masculine when things do get way too intense. And we're gonna, I'm gonna follow up with another video on the words that they say to you because that is something super important and it's something that a lot of you do write about. The words that they say to you and how to interpret that and how to get that. Now, let me just tell you this. For the most part, if someone says something to you, if someone says like, hey, you know, I think we're just friends or hey, I don't really feel like we have a connection. For the most part, you really should take that person at face value. However, in a twin flame connection, it's really about looking at the other signs. It's about understanding the other signs. It's not about not respecting that person. It's not about not respecting their desires and what they're saying to you, but it's more about being very astute to how they are actually acting toward you. And oftentimes in romantic relationships, a lot of the advice that I have heard in the past and that I've counseled the people that I do coach, women in general that I do coach, is that try not to pay attention so much to the words that they're saying as much as the actions that they make toward you. Because if we're talking about men of the masculine gender, right? We're talking gender because divine masculines could be females. But typically speaking that the male gender 
divine masculines. Um, men do tend to be very action oriented and that's just kind of the way how their brains are hardwired and ask any man, they will tell you this. So generally speaking, a man's actions speak much louder than his words. If a man goes above and beyond for you as a divine feminine or as a female divine feminine, if a man goes above and beyond for you, then that generally means that that's really where his heart is at. A man whose heart is not for a certain person or situation, they are not going to perform actions that are actually going to perform above and beyond. So that's really the good parameter to actually look at when you're seeing a lot of this incongruency. Now, of course, the eyes are the mirrors to the soul, divine feminines. And so if your divine masculine's eyes are clearly telling you, I love you, I adore you, you're beautiful, you're amazing, I am totally enamored by you, which was the case for my divine masculine every single time he looked at me. When their eyes are telling you that, then you have to believe what's in their eyes. You have to believe, like, even if what's coming out of their mouth is something totally different, if they are looking at you with love and affection and admiration, that is what is truly reflected on the inside. Now, Divine feminines, understand that you go through this incongruency as well because the feelings are so intense and because also you, just depending on who you are, right? You may not be totally in tune with your feelings. You may not be totally in tune with what's in your heart, with your wounds, with your barriers and defenses and the walls that you've put up because of past hurts and past relationships, it's, it's really important that you be aware of your own incongruencies as well. And because when you're not aware of your own incongruencies, then as a divine feminine, you can do things or say things things that are not in congruency with the way you are feeling inside. Now, understandably, for a divine masculine, generally speaking, the incongruency generally comes with those feelings of love and the denial of the feelings of love and affection for their divine feminine because the feelings are so intense, they have a tendency to ignore and deny it. For the divine feminines, however, because they understand and they know the feelings of love for their divine masculines, the incongruency comes when they start putting up barriers, when they start backtracking as they notice that the love is not seemingly reciprocated. So that's where the work on the ego really comes into play and that is where you need to take the higher ground, take the higher road, Divine Feminines, and really tune into exactly, exactly how you are feeling and not create responses to your divine masculine that are incongruent with actually how you are feeling. I know for certain that I did this at least once, if not twice, with my divine masculine when I was really frustrated and I while we were still together, I called it quits over text because I was really frustrated with how he wasn't responding or that just that incongruency. The incongruency of I could see how he was feeling toward me, but his words were not reflecting that, nor was really his attention reflecting that, where he would give a lot of attention, then he would back way back and then give attention and then back way back. So it was inconsistent and incongruent. And when I called him on it, I kind of said like, enough is enough, I've had enough, I'm done. And what was incongruent for me was that that's not how I was feeling. 
I was feeling frustrated and I was feeling upset and I was confused, frankly, by the incongruency. I was very confused, but I certainly didn't want to end things with him. Yet yeah, that's what I said in my words. Do you understand divine feminines that you need to be really careful too with not being incongruent towards your divine masculine because that can be equally frustrating for them when they are trying to deal with their own feelings, the intense feelings that they are having inside as well. It creates this sense of dishonesty if both people are incongruent, whether they realize it or not. So if you are more aware, which of course many divine feminines are a little bit more aware, a few steps ahead of the divine masculines, if you are the one indeed that is more aware, then it really is your job to really stay in congruency. One of the ways is through meditation, a meditation, a reflective practice, a mindfulness meditation. And of course I teach a meditation class upcoming online. And you can also do visual and affirmations, but really tune into your heart chakra. Do some of those heart chakra uh, opening meditations. I have a video on that with twin flame meditations. The last one I did so far is the heart chakra meditation, but really tuning into your heart. And what does your heart tell you? What does your heart say? And before you act or react to the incongruencies in your divine masculine, check in with what's going on inside of yourself. So it's not like one incongruency triggering another incongruency and you guys aren't, you're, you're missing the point. You're missing the mark, if you will. But just know that, that they're not necessarily doing it on purpose, but understand that that is in essence the biggest frustration. The biggest frustration is that they're not being, it's, it almost seems like they're not being truthful to you. But a lot of times it's just because they're not fully aware. They're not fully aware of what's happening. They're not fully aware of what's going on. And really that is one of the greatest reasons for frustration is that incongruence. And so I would say that if you want to be able to navigate this a little bit better, and like I said, the next video we're going to talk about the words, the words that they say and how to navigate that. But initially how to navigate it is to really look for their actions and look toward the way they look at you, if you're able to look at them at this point in the game, but how they look at you and the things that maybe they have said to you in the past, but also the things they have done for you in the past. And maybe like the inside jokes or the gestures that they have made to show you that they really care for you and the way they have looked at you to show you how they really care for you. So just know that and know that that's, that's one of the telltale marks of the divine masculine is this sense of incongruency. It's in it, it shows even bigger and deeper than in many other romantic relationships and partnerships. And it's just because of the elevation of the intensity of this connection. So I hope that helps a little bit just to allay your fears, just allay your fears that you're not going crazy, that this is certainly something that does happen and it's a fairly common occurrence. It's not, I'm saying it's for most of us who are divine feminines that this occurs for. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Please do check out the rest of the playlist. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel below. Hit that bell for notifications. Give the video a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing this video with other twin themes. And thank you guys so much for supporting this YouTube channel. You can buy a book or two or three. You can also pledge your support on Patreon. We do a private party podcast every single month just for patrons. www.patreon.com forward slash Michelle S. Fondon. And I will see you in the next video.